Okay, so I'm David Dillard, and um, we're going to start our initial, uh, I think the, it's not really a blog, it's sort of a video log, but uh, uh, you'll excuse the, uh, the initial uh, foray into a platform that I'm not that comfortable with, but I'm used to giving a lot of lectures, so uh, we're, we're going to talk today a little bit about the tongue and the Inspire and some of the new technology that's out to deal with sleep apnea. And the, um, I, just by way of introduction, I, I do ENT and over the years have become pretty much exclusively a um, clinic, part of a clinic that does sleep and sinus therapy. So we do a lot of sleep apnea. Uh, one of the things that you'll you'll see that's new, that's a, sort of a newsworthy item, is the Inspire. And the Inspire, along with another uh, technique that's not quite FDA approved yet, uh, has to do with um, the concept that the tongue is the major player for sleep apnea. Now, sleep apnea is like you stop breathing, and there's apnea literally is Greek for uh, no breath. So. Uh, we can make it sound any more complicated to stop breathing. Um, but uh, there's two kinds. You have central sleep apnea, which is the body is, is still functioning reasonably well, but you are not seeing uh, enough input from the brain, the central nervous system, to tell you to breathe. Um, that tense central nervous system, sleep apnea, meaning when you're asleep, you don't breathe, and your brain forgets to tell you. Um, obstructive sleep apnea literally is about what it sounds like. You are asleep, there's an obstruction, and you don't breathe. And uh, basically, the predominant part of that has to do with anatomy that's above the voice box up to the nose, but the biggest part of it though, is probably related to the tongue. Um, and Consequently, some of the newer techniques like the boat, which is a technique for reducing the amount of tongue that falls into the airway, it's like an office procedure, and the new Inspire techniques are directed at the tongue to try and keep it out of the airway. Simple enough. So the Inspire has, has been around uh, in the, the trial stages for a couple of years, and it just gotten released. Um, and is now being performed. So there's um, the, the couple of different techniques. The, the part of the hypoglossal nerve that has to be stimulated is a uh, bit of debate, but that's the nerve that runs the tongue. And the idea being is you put a pacemaker-like device and run the, the lead up into the part of uh, the tongue uh, nerve out on the side here that then stimulates that segment of the tongue and causes your tongue to pull itself forward at night. Um, it's been approved for mild to moderate sleep apnea, meaning anybody who stops breathing more than 30 times an hour is too severe to have this done. It can't be too heavy, uh, and um, it doesn't work for all people, but it works for a significant portion. The biggest downsides at the moment are that it doesn't work for severe sleep apnea. You have to carry around a pacemaker periodically, uh, having it adjusted with the doctors and the technicians. Um, and, um, and that gets um, a bit of a problem. And occasionally you can have deviation of the tongue, and of course then you've got the permanent implant, which has some risks for infections, which are relatively low, kind of like pacers. They don't get infected very often. And eventually you'd have to have it readjusted and have to have the battery rechecked. So, Inspire in a word, um, you know, there's other, some other procedures that are uh, available to get a similar technique done, but it is along that same line of working with the tongue. And so it's a, a new technology to kind of watch um, and um, is a, a choice that's reasonable to discuss with uh, with the surgeon, uh, but uh, one of the tricks in the trade. So, new first time uh, 
vlog, vlog, whatever they call this. And uh, we'll see you soon.